Hey there! 2018 marked another terrible year for natural disasters. From wildfires in California, to downpours on the East Coast, to dust storms in India, to flooding and mudslides in Japan, these catastrophes have killed hundreds and misplaced thousands, ruining lives and causing severe economic hardship. This trend of natural disasters is only expected to continue, and more volunteers are needed to help fight them. You can actually do more to help than you might realize. You can donate blood to those in critical need by going to redcross.org and finding a blood drive in your area. Donating is quick, easy, and safe. Some lesser known organizations include Samaritan's Purse and Direct Relief International. The United Way has also established donation funds for several major disasters. Donating is simple and can be done online in just a few minutes. If you don't want to go online, you don't have to. Just text Red Cross to 90999 to make an easy donation. Many companies have agreed to match any donation you make. Be sure to find one of these. It makes your contribution go twice as far. If you are interested in helping out one area in particular, there are plenty of opportunities for that, too. You can volunteer at your local fire department to help prevent a catastrophe in your area. Hurricanes are the most destructive natural force in the United States, and many more are sure to hit the southern coast in the following years. Organizations like All Hands and Hearts and UNICEF USA work to put relief supplies in place before the storms hit, making the recovery quicker and less costly. It may be tempting to send supplies you have around the house, like water bottles and medical supplies. However, relief organizations would rather you keep those to yourself. The economic and environmental costs of shipping those supplies usually outweighs their value in the first place, and once they arrive, the recipients have no way of verifying their safety or storing them. Make sure that if you want to volunteer in person, contact a certified organization that you can assist. Independent volunteers can actually get in the way of organized groups and cause more problems than they solve. Most important of all is to remember that disasters aren't cleaned up overnight. It takes months or even years to recover from a serious event, but the vast majority of donations come in the days or weeks immediately following. So be sure to remember that these victims still exist even if you're not seeing them on the news. So now that you know what to expect and how to help, I hope to see you on the front lines helping the people affected by natural disasters.